Number five. Light with a wavelength of 614.5 nanometers looks orange. What is the energy in joule per photon of this orange light? What is the energy in EV? 1 EV equals 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Okay, so in number four, we did a very similar problem to this, right? Now they're specifically telling us that they gave us a wavelength and they're looking for an energy. So I have a wavelength of 614.5 nanometers, and they're asking for what's the energy. So energy equals question mark. We should know a formula for this, right? It's E equals HC over wavelength, right? The energy is always in units of joules. The wavelength is always in units of meters if we're using this formula. C is that speed of light. Uh, well, we could say three, but I'm just going to say 2.998 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And also H, which is Planck's constant, which is always a constant number, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th joules per second. Now, there's a problem here, though, right? They gave us a nanometer value for our wavelength, but we need a meter value in the, in the formula. How do we do that? We got to convert. So first thing we got to convert is from nanometers to meters. So how do you go from nanometers to meters? You think of nano being an N, so it should be 10 to the 9, literally there's a 9 in M, and if you want to go from nano to just meter, it's divide, and if you ever need to go back, it's times, multiply by 10 to the 9th. So all I'm going to do here is just divide by 10 to the 9th, and now that will get me my new uh, wavelength, which is in meters. So calc time, 614.5 divided by... 10 to the 9th, and I get 6.145, so I'll put that over here. So my new wavelength is 6.145 times 10 to the negative 7 meters, and now I'm ready to plug everything in. So let's go for it. E equals H, which is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th times 2.998 times 10 to the eighth, all over the new number that we had to find out, which was 6.145 times 10 to the negative seventh meters. And my E is 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34th times 2.998 times 10 to the eighth, all over 6.145 times 10 to the negative seventh. We should have four sig figs, so 3.233 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. So that's how much energy in joules is needed for one photon of this orange light. So that answers this question right here. So this one is 3.233 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. Now, they just want the question to be, what is the energy in EV? EV stands for electron volt. But they gave us a cool conversion here. One electron volt equals 1.602 times 10 to the ne negative 19 joules. So it looks like if I could just branch this off, now I can just convert the joule information that I have into electron volt because I have this conversion factor. And where am I going to get the joules from? Oh, it's right here, the answer that I got. So basically what I have to do is I just have to take 3.233 times 10 to the negative 19 joules, and I just have to convert it to electron volt. So this is just a straight up conversion. This is how the conversions we've been doing thus far. So start with what you're given, 10 to the 19 joules. You don't want that anymore times by that ratio. Joules goes on the bottom, electron volt up top. They tell me that one electron volt equals 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th. Joules cancel out, and now you will find that answer in electron volt. So 3.233 times 10 to the negative 19 
divided by 1.602 times 10 to the negative 19th. And now I have 2.018 electron volts. That's it. So these two answers are equivalent, but they're just different units. So this is the answer in energy in joules, and this is the answer in how many electron volts. So roughly two electron volts for this. All right? Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you wouldn't mind, click the subscribe button. Not only will help you figure out when we, you know, let our next batch of questions, you know, enter into the YouTube world, but you'll also help dozens of other people find out about this cool channel. I would say it's pretty cool, right? Wouldn't you? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> I'll see you guys all in number six. Have an awesome day.